hi students here we are dealing with the various software effort estimation techniques so according to barry bow there are several estimation techniques that can be used in the software development model so the various estimation techniques are algorithmic model expert judgment estimation by analogy parkinson's estimation method price to win top down and bottom up estimation so the parkinson estimation the fourth one parkinson estimation it is not really an effort estimation technique it can be considered as a scope setting of a project so parkinson's method or parkinson's technique can be used to set the scope of a project so in the major estimations we are not able to see the parkinson method also the fifth one price to win price to win is also not an estimation method it is not a prediction but it is a way to identify a price to estimate a price it is not a prediction so it also cannot be considered as a major software estimation technique so among these estimation techniques we have to mainly explain the algorithmic models expert judgment third one estimation by analogy and the last two techniques top down and bottom up techniques so we have to examine these techniques in detail so let us move to the next slide okay let me start with bottom up estimating technique or bottom up estimation the bottom up estimation approach means the estimator breaks the project into its several components or several component task it means that with a large project the process of breaking the large project into several small components or a task can be decomposed into several small subtask and these subtask in turn could be further analyzed so a system can be breaked into several subsystems and each individual subsystems can be analyzed like that the bottom up estimating can be done it also can be considered as a wbs structure wbs w work break down schedule or structure wb work break down schedule or work break down structure so the bottom up approach can be considered as a simplest approach or a 
popular approach that can be used while we are planning a project or in the stages of project planning the bottom up approach will be the best approach when a project is completely new and there is no historical data available in such cases an estimator is forced to use this bottom up estimation because we don't have any historical data based on the previous data we are not able to calculate so in such cases while doing a completely novel projects or completely new projects in such cases there is no historical data available then the estimator will be forced to use this bottom up approach okay the next feature of bottom up estimation or the second feature is it is a procedural code oriented approach code oriented approach it means that the bottom up approach can be described or what i i have described above works at the level of activities it is based on a set of activities activity means in a software or in a software development the major activity is writing code code means writing programs so here we describe how a bottom up approach can be used at the level of software components how a bottom up approach can be used at the level of activities so there we are considering four important points first one is envisage the number of number and type of software software modules in the final system then second one estimate the sloc sloc means line of code software line of code sloc of each identified module then estimate the work content taking into account complexity and technical difficulty and calculate the work days effort so four different estimations or four different calculations are doing in the level of activities or while doing the program or while doing the code procedural code oriented approach we are calculating the four different factors the first one is the number and type number and type of software modules second one is the line of code loc sloc the third one is the work content based on the account complexity and technical difficulty fourth one is the work days work days effort so we shall go through one by one the first one is envisage the number and type of software modules in the final system it means that while developing a system for example we are, we develop an information system from a for, small set of system operations system operations means insert a data or to update a data or to delete a data or print a data display a data so we are doing a program to either insert update display amend delete print etc whether it may be a software application software or it is an embedded system or embedded software or any type of software it consists of 
a small set of operations so these operations identifying or envisaging the number of operations and the number and type of the software operations can be considered as the first part of the procedural code oriented approach so what are the major set of activities what are the major set of system operations what are the major set of primitive functions applicable to this program identify those or estimate those it is the first point envisage the number and type of software modules in the final system how many number of software modules are there what are the major software modules what are the major software processes identify that it is the first one okay the second step in the procedural code oriented approach is the estimation of sloc sloc of each identified module that means the source line of code in each module how many instructions would be needed to implement and implement each identified procedure the number of instructions happen to be in a program the estimator has to judge the number of instructions it may be 1 kloc 1 kilo line of code or n number of klocs so the estimator may look at the existing programs which have a similar function to judge or to estimate this process the estimation can happen based on the previous experience so the estimator have to look at the existing programs or existing software or existing modules which have already done or similar programs to identify or to estimate the sloc of each identified module so the second step in the procedural code oriented approach is the estimation of the sloc of each identified module okay the third step estimate the work content taking into account complexity and technical difficulty so two additional factors are considered here the complexity of the software and technical difficulty of the software the complexity and technical difficulty these two factors has to be valued so the value of complexity and the value of technical difficulty is taken into account to estimate the work content so while estimating the work content we consider two factors the values of two factors the complexity of software the technical difficulty of the software the estimation of work content means we are estimating the set of instructions or estimating the program the previous step we said we are estimating the source line of code of each identified module that sloc is multiplied by this complexity factor and the technical difficulty factor suppose there are one kloc so sloc value is equal to 1 kilo 1000 
first complexity is 2 then percent is multiplied by 2 the technical difficulty is 0 or the technical difficulty is 1 then 1000 is multiplied by 1 then 1000 into 2 plus 1000 into 1 like that the work content can be estimated so the practice is to multiply the SLOC estimate by a factor for complexity and technical difficulty so this factor will depend largely on the subjective judgment of the estimator so the estimate the work content based on the complexity and technical difficulty this is the third estimation step or the third step of procedural code oriented approach estimate the work content and the last step is calculate the work days effort calculate the work day work day one man day historical data can be used to provide ratios to convert weighted SLOC to effort work day means one man day if a programmer work eight hours in a day so eight hours is equal to one work day if a programmer or if a software developer work 10 hours a day then 20 hours is equal to two work day thus work days effort can be calculated so historical data can be used here to calculate the work days of work. In bottom-up estimation, the second feature of bottom-up estimation it is a procedural code-oriented approach. Therefore, estimations are done. The number and type of software modules, SLOC of each module, the work content is estimated based on the complexity and technical difficulty and the work days effort is calculated. This is about bottom-up estimating technique or bottom-up estimating approach. Okay. I think you all are clear with this bottom-up estimation technique. Then we shall move to the reverse approach reverse approach of bottom up that is known as the top down approach the top down estimation approach okay